what I've been doing in the past uh, several years um, is uh, teaching younger artisans um, to carve in wood uh, for ceremonial masks and other other things, masks, rattles, headdresses, uh, paddles, bent wood boxes. And uh, um, at the same time, uh, um, it's really great to learn our art form, but uh, I also have to show them where where these the cedar wood comes from. And I like to go out into the forest and explore you know, all different parts of Haida Gwaii. Um, I, I take them out to these uh, forests where these trees have been growing for hundreds of years, many, many hundreds of years. These trees are ancient. There are huge cedars. Um, it would take maybe up to four or five or six people to reach around some of these trees. And they, you look up the tree and you, you can barely see the branches. The, the trees are so tall. So uh, what my father used to say to me is he said, uh, the great cedar tree is a monument to the creator. We don't only think about the trees as being wood to carve. You know, we think about it as being a living thing. We think about it as, uh, you know, uh, it's known as the tree of life. Uh, the, uh, the weavers, they think of, uh, they think of the younger cedars when they go get the cedar bark. They, you know, they, they think about it. They call the, the, the tree, call the tree older sister. That's what they, that's what kind of respect they have for the cedar tree. And they only take a little strip of bark. They don't take all the bark off. Of it. So what we have, have to do with the younger generation or what the young people have to think about is respect. It's not only, it's a living thing. It's put on here by the creator. And um, the forest is all connected. Uh, we used to, uh, we'd go for miles looking from tree to tree and um, picking a few berries along the way to eat. And, uh, just um, knowing that our footsteps on where we're going was probably not walked on by for many, many generations. And just to see the, uh, the beautiful islands here. Um, I'd like to uh, uh, really encourage the younger people to go out and explore our islands and uh, wherever you may, may be, go out and explore. Do not be afraid of the forest. Um, I think we have to think about ourselves as part of the earth. We are part of the earth. 